So I, didn't, I failed to show you all a close up yesterday of how I was marking these. Can you see? Will you focus, please? All right. Can you see that little line in there? Let me see if I can move around a little. All right. See that little line? I used my big Sharpie and I made that little line all the way around. And see, you can't see it unless it's really in the sun, but it's right there. <clears throat> and I try to cut just on the other side of it. Now, why did I have this one there? It's because that corner right there is, I drifted real bad. I cut this in someone's yard with nothing but the grinder while I was in a time crunch. So anyhow, there it is. There's a line on there just like that. And uh, we got to go from there. Now, I thought I had measured this and it was long enough to cut it and cut that hole out the end. There's a hole down here. There's two holes. And I thought I had cut it just long enough to get rid of that hole. But uh, or it was long enough to be rid of that hole, but it turns out it's not. So, yeah, okay. It's it's 77 inches from the part I'm cutting there to here. And uh, that's about an inch and a half in from the end. <laughs> so it looks like we're going to be squaring it off and having two holes in that one. And they go all the way through. I don't know if you can see the hole. Well, that one doesn't. You It does, but you can't see through it. That one right there goes all the way through. I was thinking about plug welding those. I don't know if I should or shouldn't. Um, but um, we'll, we'll figure something out. I might end up cutting in the middle of the hole and then just welding around it. Or uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Anyhow, I just wanted to show you all that mark before I did that. And now we get to have a little time lapse of let's make some sparks. Right? Well, actually, it's not going to be a time lapse. But it might be when I come back. Uh, if I can figure out how to edit it in there, I'll make it a time lapse. Or sped up or something. All right. Big green <laughs> All right, you got to be watching. Don't let it just dive, because that's how it got crooked on me. You just want to nibble the edge. Like cutting with that, but he cut the whole lot faster than the forehand. Surface area, even at a reduced RPM. Well, I guess I could do the math one day and figure out which one has a higher surface uh, speed. You know, seven and a seven inch cutting wheel or a four inch, because the seven inch operates at I don't know eight thousand RPMs and the four inch operates at eleven thousand. So which one would have a greater? Uh, surface speed. Now you gotta be careful when you get near these thin edges. The saw is gonna to want to jump out into that thin spot. It always does. You gotta maintain absolute control of them. Although most of the people probably watching this already know how to do that. I don't know. Uh -huh. Alright, I measured this, it was completely square. Now I should advise don't touch that piece of metal or try to pick it up. Um, I need to take and check all the squares on this. 
I can tell you always end up with the burr on the inside. So you got to take the burr off. Before you can go measuring anything. I'm just not going to get perfectly square, straight, or something. So we sit down here. I'm going to take my angle gauge here. It's telling me I'm off right here. There's a little bump. You can feel it with your fingernail. I can see it right there. Sorry to block you. That's good enough to be considered perfect. And then, see, it drifts. So this side is back. And I guess, if the bottom is good and this is high, then all of it has to go down to this corner. But, I got right now. I need to take off that one little spot. Right now, I did it a little bit more on the end than I wanted. And uh, checking it now, it's actually a little bit more than I needed. See, I'm looking at the daylight under the ground and the gap. And it's still saying this corner is higher than this corner, but this side is majorly Right, that's perfect there. Still got a little gap there. Can't tell there. It's easier to go down the line than two points. You know, there's a solid line here, solid line here. But out in the middle, it's just two points, and it's harder to measure. That's good enough. All right. So I was thinking sit here and take this and measure it, <clears throat> measure this for my angle iron, the uh, inlet into it right here, right? Now, I was going to do just the top. Should I do the bottom, the side going down, as well as the top, and then have this end right on my line? I don't think I will. Uh, then I can offset my two welds right there. You see the one weld to come up and then step over for the angle iron and go up. And I'll have one little weld right here. Angle iron will be right there, start right here. But it'll be over like, you know, three sixteenths of an inch and go up. I don't know. Um, but then eventually I might just plug that, or I might use that for the hole for the light. That's what I was planning on. I was thinking about using that for the tube for the lights to go to the back tires. Um, but I gotta cut off 3 16 of an inch right here, right? Gotta cut 3 16 of an inch off the top, and this has a quarter inch round over. And so I had set up a jig um, somewhere, and I failed to bring it outside with me. <laughs> so let me go inside real quick, and uh, I'll, uh, I'm gonna hit stop, and I'll go inside and find my jig. Maybe I'll get something to drink. And I'm going to see how hard it is to cut that on the first one of these. Because i got to cut it on the other hand. 
if I cut it on the other end, I can cut out one of those holes. On the other end, I don't need to cut it out. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Because this is going to be two pieces. I can flip this around. And one piece will be, uh, there's one on each side of this, this rail. So one piece, I'll have the holes on it, and I can cut the hole off. Because it'll be within like an inch and a half of the end. And um, that, that kind of negates the hole. There's a hole in the way. It's part of the problem. Um, so, alright, we got that. This is square. I'm going to cut the first one of these. Mark it out. Alright, so, first thing is hers. I know I ramble a lot. I don't know. I'm just thinking. This is all off the cuff. And I know I have to come in two inches. But because this is a quarter inch round over and it's three sixteenths, it'll make it kind of hard. Now, why do I say it's a quarter inch round? It's because this is one eighth and this is one eighth. And you add them, roll them together, it's going to be approximately, they are approximately. The rollover will be approximately the, what the two sides are added together. Otherwise, you end up with a thin spot in your metal right there. That's what I think is what's going on there. Okay, I can take my tape measure, though, and I can measure down here to two inches. And I've dropped this on the ground. And these Milwaukee tapes are not great this morning. I don't mean to be rude to Milwaukee about just ain't hitting on that. All right. So we got those, right? All right. Let me hit stop, and I'll be back in a minute. 